talking about a whole new experience uh, most of the things in life that we take the finer things in life is taken for granted because we've seen or we watched it when we were growing up we did not understand the essence of it but when there is someone like radhika who uh, tries and plucks it out from the daily routine and gives it you know a beautiful background and a beautiful setting only for us to understand that there's a whole new world waiting there to happen which she by the way has already discovered about a decade ago that she started radhika's fine teas and what nots now this place has various number of teas to offer and like she said it's the experience that matters and it's how you have your tea that matters and it is your connect with the tea that matters i really like the way she's put it all out on the website you must check it out what's your website again radhika it's radhikasfineteas.com lovely and what about the other social handles and so we're on all the social handles just look out for <laughs> radhika's fine teas and you'll there find you are. us there you are yeah. tea experiences when you have tea experiences with audience or people who are interested what is it about So uh we started 2006 and the first experience was with the Taj group they were coming out with their restaurant pure and organic restaurant and that's when i realized that how good we were in taking this you know whole demo of how the leaf is to be brewed it's very exciting because it's not a sermon we don't tell you oh this is white green black <laughs> bye bye and this is a lecture on science of tea uh, we tell you uh, such that you become a master chef of sorts with your leaf which means when you go home in your kitchen you find things our leaves are organic which means that when you sip it you keep re-sipping it you keep re-brewing it you don't throw it away ah. okay like typically like any other tea and then end of the day you can use the leaf into your salads into nice. your soups infuse it into your curries and casseroles uh, make desserts we've done wonders out of that and then you can also use it for van tea like we like to call it so wow. if you have um, fatigue eyes dark circles tan you just need to use our leaves dab into muslin and you don't need estella there Wow. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear that? So it's not just the tea experience again there are a lot of other benefits that you pick from it in fact a lot of other beauty and other benefits that you pick mm-hmm. from it also. So uh in short you're learning a lot more about a herb that we have around us but we know so little about. Right. And someone like you has actually picked up and you know kind of built a whole domain around it. So if I have to take regular tea that I find in the local market and brew it, what is the steeping mm-hmm. time I should give so it? So typically, uh please do love your chai because okay. ancestors lived and thrived and they live longer. Uh, because they had a lot of chai like us so don't <laughs> ridicule or abandon it uh, assam tea typically takes in milk and so it's lovely to have your milk chai okay. but just take uh, be careful of the sugar you mm-hmm. don't want sugar coming in use substitutes like vanilla pot cinnamon uh, or the palm jaggery right. you know, all desi treats that we get in our country and then coming to the other versions of the leaf like green white oolong each leaf has a benefit or a purpose right. and that's a line we love to coin uh, so when you're brewing those leaves uh, you don't need to take it to the gas or All you need to do is take a pinch of the leaf if it's, if it's whole leaf. Mm-hmm. Uh, preferably, go and buy whole leaves. Do not buy anything below that. Right. And it's a lovely investment. We feel it's expensive, but the beauty is that you are re-brewing that one chamac through the day. You're not throwing it. Wow. Okay. And then you can even take it to your plants as manure. You know, so right. there are lots of uses. So take a pinch into your cup. Boil water on the side on the gas. Let the bubbles calm. Okay. Mm. Do not put boiling water onto the leaf. You're destroying it. Pour it onto the leaf. Cover it and steep it or brew it, like we say, two to three minutes. So white right. will be two to three minutes, and then as you go on to green oolong, a little more, little more, three to four minutes. Nothing beyond five minutes. Any leaf needs to be brewed, and then strain wow. and sip. Do not take it to the gas if you want to enjoy. all the benefits for your body and please remember that it's a sensory experience right. your eyes watch it your nose whiffs it if the nose likes it then you're going to sip it if it, if the nose doesn't like it please do not listen to anybody who's saying have that particular leaf <laughs> okay and then sip it if you like it great if you do not switch to another leaf uh, the point i'm making is keep trying and experimenting and you know which is your leaf wow the next tea experience you're holding i'm so going to be there do check out her website and don't forget get to follow her handles it is radhika's fine teas and what nots thank you so much it was so much fun thank to have you, you annie had a lovely time i look forward to seeing you at my tea experience next absolutely time. okay there is a song i have to dedicate for you what is it going to be i like joshua karisan's beautiful in my eyes it's dedicated to all the men who should be respecting and finding their women always beautiful how sweet okay there it is that's what we're slipping straight into mumbai and man with me annie 94.3 radio 1